Now let's talk about some features of the genetic code. The genetic code is the code by which the cell converts DNA in the form of nucleotides into useful molecules like proteins. The genetic code has four features that we'll talk about now. The first is that it's unambiguous. The second is that it's degenerate. The third is that it's commaless or non-overlapping. And the fourth is that it's universal. Unambiguous means that each codon, which is a set of three nucleotides, specifies only one amino acid. Degenerate means that more than one codon can code for the same amino acid. Here's one way to think about this. When I write 8 plus 1, the answer is unambiguously 9. But realize that we can also get to 9 by writing 7 plus 2, 6 plus 3, 5 plus 4, etc. Because there are many ways to get to 9, this system is degenerate. We could call these our codons and the number 9 are amino acid. Next, let's talk about what it means to be commaless or non-overlapping. If I give you an RNA transcript that looks like this, AUG, UUG, UUA, the cell would begin by reading the first three nucleotides and producing an amino acid, shifting over and reading the next three nucleotides, producing another amino acid, and then moving to the last three and producing another amino acid. A cell couldn't do this, for example, this, and then these three, and then these three. In other words, the genetic code is non-overlapping. Some viruses, however, when they read their RNA transcripts, can do this. They can read in overlapping parts, but most all other organisms read their RNA transcripts in non-overlapping sequences. Finally, the genetic code is universal, which means that among all living species, the code is read the same way, and each codon produces the same amino acid, for the most part. As you can see, there are some exceptions here, which might produce amino acids which are slightly modified or slightly different. Next, let's talk about the different kinds of mutations that can occur in DNA. The first is known as a silent mutation. This occurs when a nucleotide in the DNA changes but results in no difference in the amino acid encoded. For example, a mutation that results in the RNA transcript UUU encodes phenylalanine. If a mutation were to occur which resulted in the RNA transcript UUC, this would also encode for phenylalanine. And thus the mutation is quote unquote silent. A missense mutation results when the amino acid is different from the original. For example, if the RNA transcript UUU encodes for phenylalanine, but if a mutation were to occur that resulted in UCU, this would encode for a serine. This change would then be known as missense. A nonsense mutation occurs when instead of an amino acid, a stop codon is encoded. This results in a partial or truncated protein, which is non-functional. A frame shift mutation occurs when a nucleotide is inserted or deleted into the DNA. Take, for example, this analogy. Suppose we have this DNA sequence. Now remember, DNA is read in a non-overlapping manner. It is read three nucleotides at a time. So this sequence would translate to, Can you dig her new hat? If an insertion were to occur, which is represented by this X, the result is a sentence which doesn't seem to make any sense. Now, even if a frame shift does occur, amino acids can be produced. But what usually happens is that once the frame is changed, the DNA will encode for a stop codon where it should have encoded for an amino acid. This results in a nonsense mutation, early truncation of the protein, in a non-functional molecule.